Cozy Glow is the most devious yet adorable villain we faced. Makes you wonder how she was raised to end up so diabolical. As far as reformation goes, she'll be one tough nut to crack. But there's hope, and I think the key to reforming her revolves around her cutie mark. Last time I talked about how Chrysalis could be reformed if she was released from stone. If you haven't seen it yet, definitely check it out after this. But today, we're focusing on the only pony of the three villains. The reason her being a pony is significant is because she has a cutie mark, which gives us a look into her destiny. So grab a snack, get cozy, and let's go old school with some cutie mark analysis. The Rook in chess is the piece that can move vertically and horizontally. It's considered a big player since its mobility makes it easily capable of checkmate. Same is true of the Queen, appropriately, which is why they're known as the major pieces. They carry the most weight and can force other pieces to move or suffer the consequences. Unlike the Queen, the Rook is more low-key, which is exactly how Cozy operates. Chess symbolism is often used cynically, comparing one's thoughts and actions to that of a chess player, cold and calculated. Yeah, that definitely fits Cozy to a T. She views others not as individuals, but as pieces in her game, means to her end, controllable. She's manipulative and power hungry, and chess is all about power gained through manipulation. Her cutie mark makes perfect sense, right? Well, something about this doesn't sit right with me. A cutie mark is a symbol of one's purpose, and I just can't believe Cozy Glow was destined to manipulate. Think about it, we've never seen a malicious cutie mark. They've always been a force for good. Even in cases where a pony didn't understand their mark, they always found a positive spin on it. There's gotta be one here as well. I would say call in the CMC, but this cutie mark problem is beyond them. Maybe it just means you lack playing chess? Believe me, I've been there. No, what we need is someone who's been in Cozy Glow's shoes. Someone who knows how to manipulate, who wanted power just like her, but came to realize friendship is far more valuable. That person is Diamond Tiara. I think Diamond Tiara is the key to reforming Cozy Glow. I've talked about her in the past. I figured she wasn't happy with her cutie mark, seeing it as a symbol of her wealth and brattiness, afraid that her destiny was officially tied to being spoiled instead of to who she is. Turns out it was spot on. She didn't understand the full meaning of her cutie mark until the Crusaders reached out to her. They helped her realize she wasn't meant to rule, but to lead. The crown represents not a position she was born into, but a talent she learned, how to inspire. She already knew she could influence people, but the Crusaders taught her to see the positive side of it. Something very similar is going on with Cozy Glow. Say what you like, but she sure knows what drives people, how to work a crowd. We've seen her use that for evil, manipulation. But just like with Diamond Tiara, there's another side to that coin, motivation. Chess is a very complex game, interconnecting pieces, working together in different ways. It takes real talent to process and determine the best moves. The same is true when you're in charge of a group of people and how they all interact. You have to know how to motivate them towards a common goal. Cozy Glow would be fantastic at this, whether as a principal, a supervisor, or anything of the sort. Okay, you'd have to be crazy to put her in any position of authority now, but the potential was always there, and still is, if she can be trained to see others as inspirable rather than controllable. Easier said than done? Yes. But Starlight went through a very similar process, going from manipulative controller to trustworthy counselor. And in Cozy's case, the seeds have already been planted. On Mount Everhoof, after working together with the villains, Cozy Glow said, when we helped each other, it felt better somehow. She even suggested using her power to help others. Cozy Glow isn't a lost cause. She just needs someone to tend to that seed. Enter Diamond Tiara. Here's how it could work. If these two met, they might instantly hit it off over their similarities. Diamond Tiara could explain how she used to have a school wrapped around her hoof. Cozy would relate. They could share their stories, and Diamond could tell her all about how she was thwarted. Again, Cozy would relate. She might ask what scheme Diamond Tiara cooked up next, and be surprised to learn that she didn't. Diamond could tell Cozy that no amount of power could ever fill the hole in her heart, and Cozy would relate. Diamond would go on to explain that only friendship could fill that hole, the feeling of mutual care that Cozy never truly gave a chance, until now. 
Even if Cozy relapses and tries to use their friendship somehow, Diamond Tiara knows those tricks too well. She'd put her hoof down like Fluttershy did with Discord and make Cozy choose between their friendship and her selfish plans. At this point, with no evil queen to hold her back, I think she'd finally make the right choice. From there, Diamond Tiara can teach her from experience how to see the light of her cutie mark and how to use that power for good. Cozy Glow can go on to accomplish great things. Her future can still look bright, as long as someone believes in her enough to give her a chance. But what do you guys think? Is there a better way to reform Cozy Glow? Leave your thoughts in the comments, and if you want to support this channel financially, check out my reward tiers at patreon.com slash sawtoothwaves. And thank you so much to everyone who already has, especially my Alicorn tier patrons. Playton, Sarah Star, Oceana Love, Ghastly Spark, Maximilian HG, Cyanax, Skunk Bunk, Houndflash, DH, Mungo Jerry, Dr. Hooves, The Nameless One, Paco Taco, Darth Silar 12, Cameo Shadowness, Yoshi Dark Lord, Valid, Namink, and Equinox 3141. You helped make this channel possible. I'm Sawtooth Wave, signing out until Friday after next. Brohoo!